Good morning, everybody. Another day in the world of education at Education. Um, so we're going to look at area of circles or part of circles. Okay, so we start with semicircle. It's half a circle. So pi times the radius is four meters. Four squared divided by two because we have a semicircle, half a circle. So we put that into our calculator, and we get twenty-five. 0.13 meters squared. That is the area of part of a circle, which is a semicircle in this case. Next one, a quadrant, a quarter of a circle. Same thing. Pi times the radius is 3, 3 squared divided by 4, because there are four quarters and we only have one quarter. So put that in and we get 7.07 .07 centimeters squared. Okay. Now we've got a sector. Now all these are sectors, but or just formally, loosely speaking, we'll call this a sector. So this is part of a circle. So in this case, we've got 70 degrees out of a whole circle, which is 360 degrees. So pi times the radius is 8. 8 squared times 70 degrees over 360 degrees, because we have 70 over 360th of a circle. So pi times 8 squared times 70 over 360. And it gives me 39.10 centimeters squared. This is how I put it into the calculator, just like that, as you see it. Okay, the next one is semicircle again. Okay, so that was divided by 4. Okay, now we divide this by 2 because it's half a circle. The only difference is we've got the diameter now, which is 13 centimeters from our previous video. Radius is half the diameter, half of 13, which is 6.5 centimeters. Okay, now pi times 6.5 squared divided by 2 because we have half a circle. And pi times 6.5 squared divided by 2, 66.37 centimeters squared. That is the area of a circle with a diameter of 13 centimeters. And that is all. That's how you calculate the area of a semicircle, a quadrant, and a sector. I hope you guys understand this. Any questions, please feel free to send me a message. This is Education, signing out.